A commercial building will have both single phase and three phase panel boards. The inspection does not have to include the removal of panel board covers or dead front covers, but in order to better understand some of the differences between single and three phase panel boards, let's do just that. Before I address any electrical device, I always verify once again my working space. Do I have 30 inches, 36 inches, and 78 inches? In this case, this is wide open. Yes, I do. I have personally performed the same inspection steps on every panel board, regardless of size or type. Establishing a specific habit can help ensure that you're going to re remain as safe as possible. And working in that safe environment involves dealing with my personal safety first and foremost. We have two panel boards here that are identical and exactly alike, but that doesn't matter. I take every one individually. I know these are demonstration panel boards. I know that I can wheel this around this building, but I still don't trust it. So before I will touch any panel, I always take a non-contact voltage detector and I will test to make sure all of the electric components that I will be coming in contact with are without, without being energized and will assure myself that no harm is going to come to me by touching these panels. So again, to emphasize, before I come in contact with any panel, I verify proper working space. And then after noting any issues with the working space, then I will verify that I have no contact. Again, I could use a non-contact voltage detector or the back of my right hand with my left hand being suspended in someplace else. Then, knowing that they're safe, I have the opportunity to open up the panel door and see what's inside. In, a, in, a, in an electric panel, I will have a label plate. That label plate is a, is a, is a factory plate or a generic plate, depending on the type of panel. This is a pretty standard panel, so this is not a this is not a a factory label plate. This is a generic plate, and on this plate, I have an opportunity to see the voltage on this is is a uh, hundred amps, type one panel, and I see that it's it's a three phase four wire 208 120 volt panel. Knowing this is a three-phase panel, let's see what it looks like on the inside. You are not required to remove panel boards or dead front covers or panel doors. For the sake of this video, we have taking this door off. Knowing that it's three-phase, let's look and see what's inside. At the top of this panel, I have three bus bars. I have left one, a right one, and one down the middle. A single phase will only have two bus bars, one for, for each of the 120 volt leg. Each terminal at the top of the panel coincides with a bus bar. The two on the outside are much easier to see because they, you can see those going down the middle, creating this zig zag pattern every third portion of the bus. But the middle one is actually behind the plastic insulator and it shows up in the middle of every third one. And that's what creates our three phase panel. There are two other bus bars present, one on the right side and another on the left. Depending on the branch distribution, one could be a ground bus and the other could be a neutral bus. The branch distribution for this system is conduit, or is known as a raceway. The conduit is a continuous metal pipe that not only protects the conductors, but also provides that continuous bond between the panel board and that circuit. So in this case, I have my neutral bus on this side, and then this would have been uh, a ground bus on this side, which is hooked up to my ground grounding electrode uh, conductor. But 
because it's a conduited system, we do have a crossover bar which connects this bus and this bus together, which creates then my continuous neutral across the entire building. And the connector that's inside of this bus hooks to the bond on the back of the panel, creating my ground. This panel will also have conductors that allow the circuit breaker to securely attach to one side and snap into the bus bar on the other. It is the connection that allows the current to flow from the, from the bus bar to the circuit breaker to the conductor. The number of conductors indicates the phase. If there's just one or two conductors attached, then that would be a single phase. If they use all three of the bus bars, then that would indicate that it is a three-phase circuit. This video was aimed to show the components of a three-phase panel and not to create a mandate that every covered door and every dead front cover has to be removed during the inspection. Every inspector will create their personal level of comfort around live electric parts and should work within the maximum degree of safety.